The Hermit Crab Essay. What is a hermit crab? A hermit crab is a small crab that instead of growing its own shell, inhabits the cast off shells of other crustaceans. Okay, what is a hermit crab essay? A hermit crab essay is one that borrows its form from another genre, usually one not associated with creative writing, and uses that form to determine the way in which the essay's content is presented to the reader. What sort of forms can we borrow? You can borrow almost any form. In our readings, we'll see examples of syllabi, personality tests, programming guides, and medical information sheets appropriated for the purposes of creative writing but that list is by no means exhaustive. Other forms I've seen used to good effect include playlists, wine tasting notes, a car fax report, immigration filings, and a birth announcement. Really, the only limit is your imagination and your ability to make the form and the content work together. How can I make the form and the content work together? The form should have some resonance with the content. For instance, let's say you wanted to write an essay about a road trip you took with your younger brother. You might choose a playlist of songs you listen to and then build the narrative under the titles of the songs. Or you might write something that looked like a travel guide, perhaps titled The 10 Worst Restaurants on the Way to Visit My Father, and then craft an essay out of experiences you and your brother had in bad roadside restaurants during the trip. The secret is just to find something that connects back to and supports the content with which you plan to work. If I use a form like a playlist, do I have to have actually played those songs during the time I'm writing about? No. The Hermit Crab essay is a type of lyric essay. Like the prose poem, it's a blended style that uses some conventions of poetry and some conventions of prose, and readers understand that you get a certain latitude when creating the shell of the essay. However, this doesn't mean the actual events that you describe can be made up. You still want the actual content, the writing that comes from personal experience, to be true. Can I use interactive forms? Sure, if you have the coding skills, you are welcome to use interactive forms for this essay. For instance, you might create a choose your own adventure essay using Twine, a simple JavaScript program that allows you to build reader-driven narratives. But only try this if you already have those skills. There isn't enough time to learn new computer skills and meet the deadline. Also, please make sure that if you choose an interactive form, you make sure that your essay is fully accessible to people with low vision who use screen readers to access the course. Again, if you already know how to do this, go for it. But if you don't, this probably isn't the time to learn. Can I use images in my essay? Absolutely. In fact, graphic memoir, which is now a genre all its own, began under the rubric of the Hermit Crab essay. Touch base with me because if you're creating hand-drawn images or other labor-intensive elements, those images will count toward your word count. Again, be sure that if you're doing this, you've provided alt text for the images, descriptive text that gives the full information that someone would get from seeing the pictures, so that it's accessible to class participants who use screen reading software. If you're not sure how to do this, visit the Walker Center for Teaching and Learning's website. They have lots of resources and people you can ask for help if you need it. How closely must I follow the form of the genre I'm appropriating? This is entirely up to you, but it's probably important that you not stray so far from generic conventions that for, for your form that it's no longer recognizable. For instance, you wouldn't want to write an essay in tweets and then not conform to the 144 character rule. A good rule of thumb is to determine whether or not the reader can name the genre you've borrowed from without having your, without your having to mention it in the title or the body of the essay. But this isn't a hard and fast rule and sometimes there are good creative reasons to break any rule. Next steps, begin drafting your own hermit crab essay, which will be due on Friday. Read the assigned Hermit Crab essays and participate in the discussion board. Discussions are due by Wednesday at 11.49 p.m.